I don't like the mini mushroom unless I like need it. I'm like the only person that unironically loves the mini well, mushroom. Well, I I loved I like I like the mini mushroom, but I don't like trading a power up for it. I get that, but like the mini mushroom is is just the, a really fun power up to just use. Oh, it definitely is. I love I love like dancing around everything. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like the best. Probably one of the best risk reward. Oh, definitely. Things of thinking. <laughs> it's funny because in fighting games, I hate I hate anything using that same art type. I'm such a hypocrite. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be really precise, but I think I can do it. Oh, I almost did it. Yeah. You, you know what I like about King for Another Day? The artwork. For another day? The, the artwork. I just really love the artwork there. The artwork. Yeah. All of King for Another Day is really nice. Like, I, I really love the one they did for, like, Cartoon Robotnik and King DDD. <laughs> <laughs> he he looks so perfect. Fucking hell, Chrome is a hog. Chrome is a hog. Like, let me close more tabs. It's unfortunate that Chrome is the best browser, though. Oh. Supposedly the best browser. It might be. <laughs> I'm, gonna pretty, I'm gonna be forced to get alternative soon if it's hogging this much. Jesus Christ. There is no alternative to Chrome, though. Really, if you think about it. Like, what are you going to use? Like, Microsoft Edge? The internet browser is so edgy that they had to... So edgy and hip that they had to name it Edge? I'm pretty sure Edge is... I'm pretty sure Edge is okay. I wouldn't use Edge. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I died to the tiny one. That's that's embarrassing. Ooh, a shell! No! 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 As a gamer, these are things I need to know. As a gamer, these are things I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's such a funny quote. <laughs> did I did I end up retweeting this like? I saw this thing recently on Twitter where, like, someone took Irate Gamer and, like, removed, <laughs> like, one of the scenes where it's, like, quote-unquote an interruption, where it was the Kool-Aid man bursting through his wall, but they removed the Kool-Aid man from it. So it was just the wall? Yeah, so it was just the wall, and he's just talking at the wall. <laughs> like... <laughs> that's, like, that's like some Garfield about Garfield shit. <laughs> Cause that'd be perfect. That's like makes it look really good. That is yeah. exactly like Garfield without Garfield. Pretty much. Jesus Christ! Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, that was actually spot on. Look, I didn't even mean to do that impression that well. Oh no. Was that was that spot on or was that just me? Spot on, mate. Spot on. I mean, think you know what that what that was, right? <laughs> yep. Of course I do. Why would I say it's spot on okay. if I didn't? Like Adventure is not a good game. Like <laughs> <laughs> Sonic Adventure, do you? I love Sonic Adventures. Lo Honest, okay, speaking honestly, Sonic Adventure 1 is one of my favorite games ever. I like Generations better. It's not because the game, I think the game is like, perfect. It's really not in quite a bit of areas, but I think it's fucking fun during the parts that, the parts that matter. Specifically like, specifically Sonic stage, stages, and Tails, I guess, and Knuckles, I think. Isn't that what people say about Sonic 06 as well? <laughs> and I believe NTSC is the most accessible ISO, so you can pass. <laughs> I mean, legally back up from the little copy, yes. Yes, completely legally. 
Yes, very official legal presidential business. Non, uh, non, uh, non sketchy ways at all. Yes, this is a very this is legal. Definitely not illegal. This is an extremely legal stream where we do engage in legal purchases of legally claimed games. Oh man, let's just break the law more. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> we at Tormega Industries do not condone the smokage of herbal substances. <laughs> oh, this level. I, I remember needing a mini mushroom in this one. Yeah, for the secret exit. Oh, is there is there is there oh, is, is there one in this level? No, it looks like. A couple like yesterday. Please, please tell, please tell me there is. Please tell me there's one in this level. There's not one in this level. Fuck! I was expecting him to throw it faster. But the, it clicked off the emulator again. See that thing that apparently a Japanese trailer for the Sonic movie. <laughs> yeah, this is so wholesome. Baby Sonic in it, and it was gross and gobliny. I don't care about that, man. Even do I, but this shit trends on... Wake up. This shit trends on Twitter. <laughs> you just slap yourself. I do, yeah. I like this level because it has eels. Oh, this was the level I was talking about before. The one that yeah, also like, had eels. Can, can someone that isn't lazy make a collection of all the noises, like all the screams that Tor has made? He does like one of those funny noises, it's hilarious. Yeah. There needs to be a compilation. Ah! Exactly like that. Put that in the compilation. Eat shit, eel man. I didn't even know that there were hent bootleg hentai SNES ROMs. <laughs> oh yeah, you I should Oh man. Yeah. Oh you should have heard of the you should have heard the, the the tale of Danger Zone, man. That was a that was a good one. Tale of Danger Zone? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, oh, well, I, w I went from a story into another story now, okay? So there's a, there's a Mario... Is, there's... That, the way you say it, it sounds like, Behold, it's the Tale of Danger Zone. No, well, okay, it's a lot more dangerous than it's... Well, actually, it was very dangerous, but it's not as exciting as you think it is. So there's a st live streamer that plays Mario Hacks and uh, S Mario Maker. Uh, his name is Grand Pooh Bear, right? And uh, why didn't I, why didn't I rest on that? About Grand Pooh Bear. And he and one time he was playing a bunch of hacks that was submitted to him, right? And I think they were like SNES or SMW. I don't know the theming behind them, but a yeah, hentai game by accident. But, yeah, one of them was called Danger Zone. He said, "Oh, okay, Danger Zone. That sounds pretty cool." And Danger Zone, that's like all right, Kaizo to me. <laughs> it does. It, it did sound Kaizo to him. There in Australia. <laughs> and it nearly got his. And it nearly got him banned from Twitch. He just, as soon as he saw what was happening, he, his eyes just opened up as it was drinking water. And he, he was just shuffling to hit the kill stream button. It's my favorite Mario character. I be Yeah. Fuck. Wish he was easier to get in Mario Kart 2. Cheaper than Diddy. I hate that account. Like, honestly. I love that account. I love that account. I love that account, man. You hate it? You hate it because it's true. Yeah, exactly. Like, I hate it because it's so accurate. And it's like, you know, oh, I did what I did. What am I meant to do now? Feel guilty about it? Why'd you pull so much? So Why'd you pull so much money into Cart Tour, man? I thought you were you were in a tight oh, one. It's, a good game. it's not a good game. Well, I don't know. Is it a good game? Did did, did, did anyone yes, in the chat is. right now, Puffy, Doom, did either of you play Mario Kart Tour? Can you verify that it's a good game? Like, the gameplay is really solid. Like, I would, I would not support it as much as I did if I didn't think solid. the game was good. It doesn't look solid to me. 
I've never played a game on my phone. Yeah, pretty much. I just use my phone to staring at the- a lot. Are you sure you've never played a game on your phone? Like, not even like one of those ones where it's like, back on the olden days phone? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, I can agree. I, I can understand there. I, I I only use my phone to like stare at my image gallery. It's the thing. Because right? it's full of memes and art. Mostly memes. I would not. A lot of people hate Gotcha out of principle, but like. Oh, I hate it out of principle. I get... too. Why did it go left? You know how Arlo made that video recently where he said I made a very questionable purchase decision. Yeah, what was that about? I didn't really see the video. He, he, well, that's besides the point, but to sum it up, he bought a lot of Starlink starter kits. Basically, um... Come on. Don't suck. I'm in a very similar situation. No! I fall in the lava. No, I missed the coin. That's a tricky coin. I might need yeah. to go back to World War. Oh, very similar situation when it comes to Mario Kart Tour because like Sonic Runners got killed off Let's just remember that Man rip Sonic Runners man Okay, and the, it, um, it got killed off basically because You know it uh It didn't make enough money so You know they could just do that with Mario Kart Tour at any point they really wanted to. They probably won't do it for a while, but like, you know, I've got to put that money in because the gameplay is really solid. You know, you don't want to make that mistake again. <laughs> Funky bike on. Yeah, how's, how's uh, Doom supposed to play Chrono Trigger without his... Yeah, if it's not on there. Chrono Trigger is stinky. Take that back, it's a good game. I don't like RPGs, in most cases. Like, the, the I only finish my story about Mario. The only RPGs you like are the ones that you haven't even finished, right? I haven't even finished? What are yeah. you saying? Like, you said you said you like Grandia, but you couldn't beat it? I couldn't beat it because I, I fucked up. Like, I didn't give the, uh, the revival ring to Justin. But I couldn't even know ahead of time that I was supposed to do that. I think Dragon Quest is stinky and... Still stinky. Still uses this outdated system of having miss rates. Are you sure we're talking about Dragon Quest and not Pokemon? No, you can miss in Dragon Quest. Like, are we, are we sure we're like describing the same games here? Because the only game that I would describe as outdated is Pokemon and not Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is outdated too, especially fuck, 11. Fuck, 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 fuck! What are you saying? 11's really outdated because of the graphical style. Like, if it was in the 2D style only, I'd be fine. But... Did you just say Dragon Quest? Move... Did you just say Dragon Quest, like, visuals is not good? In, in, in 3D play. mode? I'm not saying the graphics are bad, I'm saying that they don't mesh with the gameplay. Why? Like I just said, there's still miss rates. And you can move... You can move your, your, your heroes around, but that does nothing. It's just cosmetic. It is cosmetic. It doesn't improve your chance or anything. No, it doesn't. So why bother? I... Because... <laughs> because... I feel bad when I discuss Gameplay and interface... Like because I'm gameplay not. interface segregation? I feel bad whenever I discuss RPG design with you, because, like, you know... You're making one. <laughs> Like, would you- do you really think Dragon Quest XI is a- po is poorly done visually just because of the fact that your attacks can miss? Look, if I'm right next to a guy, my character's right next to a guy, is it connects with the guy and it still says miss. The problem there. This is only happening with Metal Slimes. 
Okay, this is the same with this Gaia, which I'll get back right to right now. This Gaia. I think you is give up too easy. I have a reason for giving up because you die in this in this Gaia. Okay, you die in this Gaia, and you have to redo the entire chapter again. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So I actually died sometimes, sometimes, but I think I made it to the end as long as I can beat BJ. So, uh, Skyer, if you're unaware, is a tactical RPG. Like Fire Emblem. Similar to Fire, but and Mental what? Hearts. Yeah, sort of similar to that, but a lot more complicated with a lot more bullshit systems. A wise man but, once said, if you can't outplay the dice roll, then that's your problem. God damn it, that affects me, because I'm a avid D&D &D player. I love D&D. &D. We're at the so, final uh, level already? Cool. I think this is the best Bowser Castle ever. I like the, the room mechanic. Like, I can understand if you get pissed about f attacks missing in Dragon Quest. If, 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 if... if if it was like a case where you where you miss your attacks a lot, but like the only time in my entire playthrough where attacks were missing, like notably, was against like metal slimes and stuff. Like every other enemy, there was there was ways to dispatch them. There were, nothing was missing. So I don't see how like missing is a problem. Even then, Dragon Quest's battle system is incredibly slow paced. You can up the game speed. Well, that, never mind. I, I want to tell you why this Gaia is. This, this Gaia, this Gaia, however you pronounce that, is not good. <laughs> so. I thought you said it was. Oh, no, never mind. I, I thought you talked about Grandia. Grandia is brilliant. Did you try Octopath Traveler? No, oh, but now I've been told not to buy it. So. It's good at least. Battles in that game could last a bit. Mm. Hey guys, are you ready for Bowser? Anyway, so. The tactical RPG. Yeah, so if I you use a cool. character right next to someone. At point blank, where the scale is one to one, right? Fire okay, Emblem okay. Is this like fi is this like Fire Emblem, where it cuts to a scene of them fighting? Oh. What does it look like? It looks like anime. Can I have a GIF or a video? Uh, I mean, it's just your generic anime sort of dealio. I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> no, like, uh, spiky hair, you know... Yeah, but I, yeah, but anime... Do, like, does it play a scene from an anime or something? Oh, it just looks like anime. The art style is anime. Yeah, but, but what the does the battle look good. like? Like, uh... Like, uh, the standard tactical RPG stuff. So, does it look like an attack in Fire Emblem? No, it, there's no transitions. It just happens. So it's like, so the, so like on the on the map, they so you you bring your character over to another and then they just hit them on the map. Then you hat uh, you hat them. Yes, you give them a fine hat that you bought from the store. No, you hit them. Yeah, I said uh, hit. But I said hat. Um, but, yeah, yeah, because it's one-to-one, -one. there's no, uh, no, uh, no armies like in Fire Emblem. At least with Fire Emblem, missing has a bit of an excuse. Why does it have an excuse with Fire Emblem and not this game? Uh, because Fire Emblem, you, uh, you're a bowman, or you're anything, really, um, has to travel a bit. The scale is not one to one. It can be one to one. Can it be? 
Like, you have your sword, guys, don't you? They, they can't attack at range, they can only attack in melee. And, like... No, 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 I mean one-to-one -one scale. What are you talking about? I don't know if a scale works. I... Don't I, you? I, 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 I really, I really don't. Like, <laughs> what are you referring to? Ty, can... Can someone else explain to Tor what scale is? <laughs> Object size scale? Well, I don't know what you mean what by scale and, and making sense and missing. You know, this is, this is going to be another... What is it? What was the argument we had about... about... Uh, frame data? Is this going to be that the second time? No, that was clearly you being a... That, that was just that was just you not getting it. Except this is the reverse. Now no, you no, no, you're not making it clear. I'm making complete sense. No, you're not. Like Doom, does this make sense it, to you? I don't like the scale of an object. But what about the scale? What about it? Like, what's being scaled? Okay, good, I'm glad I'm making sense. Like so, what are you talking about? One to one scale is when an object is the same size as you. Okay. So, uh, the, okay, so the player and the enemy are the same size, okay. But in Fire Emblem, that's not the case, is it? How is it not the case? Not the case because the units are not one to one scale, they're like one to two or whatever, you know? So are you the saying the enemy- bigger on the Oh, are you saying quantity and not? What? Are you saying like quantity? No, I'm saying that. On like, the are you saying there's only like? Are you saying they can fire on them? Like the enemy army is much bigger. No. Oh god, this is hard to explain. Or are you just saying the enemies are bigger? Oh, everything is bigger. So you know how on a map, right? Yeah. Okay, the map has small trees compared to your big sprite. Yes. That means that the scale of the, the command sprites are bigger than the map. Okay. Objection sustained. Okay. Okay, but in yeah. Disgaea, the environments the enemies and stuff are all one-to-one -one scale, meaning everything is the same size as you. And where is your problem? My problem is that, what, you mean in Disgaea, or do you want me to prove that Fire Emblem has no. an excuse? Yeah, Fire Emblem is an excuse. Okay, so Fire Emblem has an excuse because when you go into that little battle animation, that is when it becomes one-to-one. -one. Mm hmm okay. So, on the map, your characters are probably like, I don't know, maybe... Like, if a character sprite... Exactly, exactly do. He, he got it, pretty much. It's like but a like, labyrinth, man. Yeah, but um, say your your uh, enemy sprite is right next to your player sprite in Fire Emblem. Ingenious sonority. Gate Warlord is enormous, and Rosalina is small. Yeah, Rosalina is absolutely tiny. In Game Freak games, Warlord's only like twice the size of Rosalia. Oh no! Don't you know, Puffy? It's it's a Warlord mini. Famous Warlord mini. Yeah, a way of mini. <laughs> yeah, so you got it right next to a. Oh, a minute. Oh, no right one's gonna. I, to I don't a... think anyone's gonna get that joke. The way of mini joke. The only thing mini it. here is your brain. Ouch, boy. <laughs> that. Ow. Fuck you. Disrespect. Wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense! Yay! 
was like, da. Anyway, so imagine this: you got your fire element characters right next to each other at ah! one to two. Okay, so you see them on the map. They're each in their own little separate square, directly next to each other. Okay. Next, next to Ike is next to Joltik. Joltik, what would appear to be the yeah, same. Yeah, pretty time. much. That's okay. as, that's better than I could explain it. <laughs> okay, but where is your problem, Will? Fire Will or Disgaea? Disgaea. Disgaea. Since it's one to one, this doesn't make any sense. So. To someone right next to uh, an enemy with a sword, or a gun, or a anything, and yet somehow still miss. Miss. How do, you no how do you pronounce, how do you pronounce the game? I'm gonna say Disgaea. Oh my god, I hope I don't die. Because yeah. I got all the star coins. That point blank missing shouldn't be a thing. Like, at all. Okay, so from my understanding, in this guy, you can actually, like, go up to them. Right? Yes. And your problem is the fact that you can go up to them, but your game still has accuracy. Yeah. Like, accuracy should be based on how far you are away from them. Really? You don't think huh? things should have evasion rates? No, not really. Like, bows and guns from far distance? Yeah, sure. But a sword, when you're I love right next to a guy... Oh, never mind. Okay, what do you think about... Ugh, this is a, this is a, this is an interesting question, actually. Uh, uh, what's the question? Okay, so like, in every other Dragon Quest game, let's, play, let's say you're playing like Dragon Quest 6 or something, where... I nearly bought Dragon Quest, another Dragon Quest on Switch, but I decided against it. It's a good like game. You should, you should get it for your DS. Anyways, uh, well, it's, it's like, uh, it's like, uh, you know when you play the game in 2D mode in, uh, 11? Yeah, well, I didn't Six kind of looks like 2D mode in the DS version. Oh, it's a move! Make your move! Make your move! Yeah. What, what's the... What's the uh... Okay, let's say you're facing a metal slime and your attack misses. You have no problem with that. Hit, hit, Puffy just made an interesting point. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... Hit 65% as the gun is actively in the alien's temple. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, it shouldn't Yeah, it shouldn't happen in a game like that, but... Maybe hit 110%. <laughs> Destroy. But what about that that one thing, like a metal slime or like an no, enemy that's or an enemy like the mug bear in Final Fantasy VI that's like built to be intentionally evasive to like physical attacks, but they're weak to magic because magic can't miss or something. I'm going to interrupt you again, but even if it was a misfire, it would still do damage to a point blank alien. I'm God sure. damn it! No one's listening to my analogies. You know the other thing about this guy is that I didn't like. What is it? it? Does not explain things very well. Huh. Like, you can recruit new characters whenever. I decided to do this immediately, uh, not knowing that apparently you can unlock higher ranks of recruitment. I got a thief. I named it Small Chungus. Okay. Got a keyboard gamer over here. Yeah, I'm a keyboard. I'm a keyboard gamer, and I'm a mouse artist too. You should play like. I don't know, like a MOBA or something. Dota. Get, get this man to play Dota. See, what I, what my plan is that... What what I'm planning to do... Is, uh... In my game, is that... The only evasion stat that would matter is... Either a case like the Mug Bear... In Final Fantasy VI, where... They have high evas physical evasion, but magic just... They can't avoid it. Or, it's a case... And that evasion only really matters with your characters and that they can just randomly avoid attacks as like a little bonus or something. Or it's, you know, incorporated into a character archetype like a thief who has insane evasion to like physical attacks or something. 
think that's a good way of doing it. I'm gonna quickly recommend a uh, YouTube channel. Uh, there's this guy called The Winglet who makes amazing source filmmaker animations. They're hilarious. He did one recently that was steamed hams. <laughs> it's not that hard. Pachinko machine's bullshit. I'm fine with Pachinko machine. Not Except when Konami does <laughs> it. I was about to say, what about Konami? Like, I don't... I don't get the whole challenge one culture. Okay, if you're talking about... Oh, okay, like, I saw a video today that was like, let's beat Pokemon uh, without taking damage. And he said that if he if he took damage, he forfeit the entire run, and he had to start the entire game over again, and that he wasn't allowed to save or whatever. That is a retarded rule set. It's just it's just retarded in general. It is. Like, why would you do that? It's stupid. I would ne I would never even That's think about doing it. Yourself. That's just that just makes that just makes a challenge go from. Frustrating, but kind of cool to fucking stupid. So I prefer Big Chungus. That's my logic. I don't know about. Strange conversation. I, I don't know. What, I don't know about anyone else here, but that's what I think. You can have. I like how in this modern era of the internet, you can have a, a completely civilized conversation with the words. I, I'm more a, you know, I, I think Big Chungus is a lot better. <laughs> Who even named that? Who even came up with the name Big Chungus? No, I like, I approve of Big Chungus a lot more than... Like, big, the, uh, the, even, the, even the name of the meme is funny, like, Big Chungus. What? If there was one theme that you could add to Super Mario Maker 2, next update, Will. Yeah. What would it be? Mario Super Show. <laughs> okay. Super Show it is. You win. And do you want the real answer? No. Doesn't matter what answer you come up with, it's not going to be as good as that. What's yours then? I can't come up with a better one either. You win. It's Super Show. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a real answer, you batty. Um, I don't know. You've already got. I, I, I still think that they're gonna add Captain Toad. Oh, Doom Bowser has a thing or two to say about that lad. Wait, does he not like Captain Toad? I don't think he does. No! 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 Let's go! Adventure. There we go. Okay, now I can read it because I'm not trying to play the game. On um, Netflix? Shrek Flix. Did you say Shrek Flix? Yes. Strange streaming service that would be. What does that even cost? Onions. What would even be on it aside from Shrek <laughs> and Shrek based shows? Um... I'll give Michael Myers a lot of money. Wait, that's not right. I'll give Smash Mouth a lot of money. I guess so. <laughs> the channel Why menu... I... The channel menu theme is just all-star. Remember when Shrek was legitimately celebrated quality animated film duality? Okay, so you're ready for Puffy's hentai fanfiction. Oh, Shriek the third. Go ahead, give it. Mike Myers says my fucking ass is itchy, and he gets some guy called Fiddlesworth to scratch for him. I'm pretty sure there actually is a guy called Fiddlesworth in it. Mike Myers and his green wife then bumbles around in raw garb for a bit. It is chaos. Mike Myers hopes Hello, someone is Kent. dead. His wish is then granted as the Frog King dies of an illness. Is this, is this, is this Shrek the third or my hentai fanfic? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the okay. fine. 
I think this is a mine. <laughs> yes, it is! Guess we're wrong! Guess we should listen to Mangs! <laughs> the emoticon makes that. It does. Puffy is a master of comedy, after all. Ugly Duckling is there and goes on his merry horse. <laughs> Ugly oh, Duckling! Gremlin. Gremlins! The next paragraph is amazing. Uh, Puss in Boots is a horse slut. Means. And Mike Myers goes on a quest. Did you really wrote that Puss in Boots is a horse slut? I did, yeah. I think because like are, are you absolutely are you absolutely sure that this is Shrek the third we're talk we're talking about and this isn't oh, a box it is. of it definitely is are you are you are you one hundred percent because I think there might there might be some sort of a mistake going on here. Mike Myers then goes to Silent Hill for the night. <laughs> Silent Hill. One of the princesses doesn't know that everybody poops. Read a fucking book. <laughs> Read a fucking book. Another one. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't laugh. Read. Another one raises the question of whether or not Mike Myers and his wife will get a divorce. After some useless debacle, Mike Myers tries to get hit trendy by playing Minecraft with the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> playing the Wizard Minecraft. <laughs> they got giggly boogadied by the Magic Man. <laughs> Oh, I definitely don't want to go back there. What the hell does that mean? Eddie Murphy carves, carves a D in the puppet boy's ass. He notices this and is annoyed. <laughs> Donkey, you're an asshole. That might have been the best thing I've ever heard in my life. I should just drink beer or something. <laughs> Or I could just watch another movie. Thank you for- <laughs> <laughs> uh, Definitely will do that. Uh, that was written by a Puffy Puff. You should make that like a shit post. You should just record yourself like reading the fanfic in like a- s Not the fanfic. The <laughs> I'm calling it a fanfic now. Reading the synopsis. In like a super serious yeah. voice, and then at the end, oh, credit yeah. Puffy as a fanfic writer. <laughs> Let's speed run. If Flex Tape made a film, would you star in it if they gave you the option? Uh... Everyone has to answer this before I give my answer. <laughs> See, I'd play as an extra in it. I'd play as shot man number two. No one could replace the legendary Phil Swift. Exactly, that's what I just said. The star needs to be Phil Swift. It was a trick question the whole time. If someone didn't pay you, to watch a, a feature film of Phil Swift attaching things with Fletch tape, would you still watch it? It depends on the contents of the film. Is it just a montage of him attached, just flex taping? Yes. Then no, that shit's boring. What? <laughs> but Tor! It even works underwater. Oh, look. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. Who would win? Synopsis Michael Myers or Lou, or Lou Albano? Who would win? Christ, that's a hard decision. <laughs> Either. They'd both stumble over. <laughs> Who would win? Captain Lou or hentai fa fanfic Mary Sue protagonist? <laughs> and how much spaghetti. I think I missed the it already. Fan I missed it, didn't I? Because, like, if, hypothetical, the, the Mary Sue, right, comes up with a load of spaghetti, okay, that's an insta win. You just yeah! give him the spaghetti and he'll win. 
No anime! Come on. Oh, oh, the block that you need. The shiny one. I don't know which one is shiny. shiny. They're all shiny. It goes shine, shine. Shine, shine? Yeah, that's the, uh, what is it? Onomatopoeia? The sound effect? You're shine, shine. This sucks. Seriously though, play Danganronpa if you want to be- I'm close. never playing Danganronpa, ever. Why not to? It's too anime. That argument pisses me off. You got it. I didn't get it. Oh. Fuck this game! <laughs> Wait, I did go back! I got it! It didn't happen before. Ah, ah!